everyone so I want to get back into making videos and I want to make some videos about Daenerys because I've seen some very interesting succinct well articulated posts about Daenerys on Tumblr and I want to move that discussion a little bit onto YouTube and see what happens from there. Now it looks like a Dance of the Dragons prequel is likely to happen and honestly Daenerys fans are not happy about this. They think that this will further tarnish her legacy because the characters involved in Dance of the Dragons, the Targaryens are portrayed as not being very good people. But I think Daenerys fans are underestimating the audience here because the majority of the audience think that having Daenerys roast King's Landing was a terrible writing choice. They did not buy her heel face turn. They did not see Daenerys killing her enemies and killing slavers as being a pretext to her just massacring civilians for literally no reason because she had already won the battle at that point. Most people think it was a bad choice. And honestly, I think a lot of the people who like the Song of Ice and Fire series likes the characters because they are morally am ambiguous, as are the characters in The Dance of the Dragons. Two people can read these books side by side, and they can each come out feeling totally differently about everyone, about every single character. And that's one of the things that makes George such a great writer, is that he trusts his audience to make their own moral judgments of people, to not to need to, their hand held to be told who is good and who is bad. And among other things that were lost in the last couple of seasons of Game of Thrones, I think was that ambiguity, you know, personally. A good question, because it's not just the Daenerys fans that are pissed about this or who are very dubious about this. It is general audience people. A question that needs to be asked here is can HBO and George and everybody else, can they win the fans back? Because on a Facebook page here, somebody wrote, waited 18 months for a letdown, I'm done watching, on to the next great series. And somebody else said, all this energy for prequels when they could when they couldn't even properly finish the actual show, yippee. And then another person said, absolutely not. I refuse to invest years of watching a franchise that produced the absolute, the absolute worst series season finale of all time and blew off every important story arc that had been building up. So yeah, a lot of people are dubious about the Dance of Dragons show. HBO will have to include damage control in its PR to win fans back because these are not just trolls who hated it. It was easily over 60% of the audience who thought that the last four episodes of the show were garbage. I mean, The Long Night had its defenders. I was kind of on the fence about The Long Night personally. But after that, the people who were willing to defend and it just got smaller and smaller until the bells. And um, I actually think Iron Throne had a little bit higher rating than the bells, but that petition got over a million and a half signatures for a reason. Another question that needs to be asked here is if Blood Moon is still happening. The Dragon demands another YouTuber who I do not agree with everything he says, but he thinks that Blood Moon might not be happening because George was, he knows, was shown a rough cut of uh, the pilot episode of Blood Moon, and it... It does seem like suspicious timing that so soon after they're announcing a Dance of the Dragons prequel show because HBO needs a slam dunk here. They need it more than ever after season eight and the reactions to season eight. 
And the long night seemed to have problems built into it, which the Dragon Demands goes over. He did a series of videos about this, where the age of the heroes is not one narrative. It is based on a series of legends of house origins, mostly. It's really difficult to make a full show on that. You, you can kind of do an anthology series, maybe. Maybe based on all of these stories, like you do a season on Bran the Builder, you do a season on Lan the Clever, but you can't just mash these characters together like they all knew each other because they didn't. There are problems that are built into the idea of the Long Night that wouldn't be there in a Dance of the Dragons TV show because the dance has a clear buildup. We know why it developed. We know how it started. We know what happened during it, and we know how it ended. We also know all of the characters. We know who they are, what they want, why they want it, and what happened to to them all so there really there isn't any guesswork here you don't have to contrive a reason for land the clever to meet brand the builder you don't have to do any of that contriving any of that story twisting to make that be a thing saying all of this i don't know if i've said this but I think this could be great. I think a Dance the Dragon show could be amazing. I've wanted a show based on the Dance of the Dragon since I heard of it. I thought it would make an excellent TV show. And if I'm making any wishes for the Dance of the Dragons, besides it being good, um, I think it would actually be really cool if Harry Lloyd played another Targaryen because he is just so damned entertaining in the history of Ice and Fire videos that are on the Blu-rays and on the DVDs. Like, he's just so entertaining to listen to. And it would not at all be out of the realm of possibility because of how interbred the Targaryens are that Viserys had an ancestor that looked exactly like him. So I think that that would actually be pretty cool for Harry Lloyd to come back and play another Targaryen. But even more than that, like if I would want somebody to come from the production of Game of Thrones to this Dance of the Dragons series, it would be Michelle Clapton. Her costume work in the show is so amazing. And one goal that she always said that she had was that people would know immediately where they were in the world of Game of Thrones just by looking at how people are dressed. And she achieved that so well. And I think that she would obviously just only continue to achieve that in uh, the Dance of the Dragons TV show. So yeah, I think this could be good. Um, HBO needs to make an amazing show, uh, a near, like a perfect as you can make it show to win the fans back as well as doing PR, you know, just like the most perfect PR that you can that might even be sly and take some pot shots at Dan and Dave. I don't think they'd go as uh, far so far as like to just totally disavow the last season of the show. Y- you know, they're writing a bit of a, a tight walk, a, a tight rope here and award season is coming up. So they can't, they won't say anything for sure before then you know, anything even kind of negative about Dan and Dave. But after, you know, we'll see. Because HBO will have to do damage control. Dan and Dave did maybe irreparable damage to this brand, and they have to face the fact of that. Otherwise, any prequel might be dead in its tracks before it can even really get properly off the ground and in front of an audience. Okay, so that's it. Thank you, everybody, for now. Sayonara and Afida Zain.